Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Chrome Logo Fractor. Uh, Logo Fractor Baseball, five box, pick your team number seven, all card ship, and you, if you follow those instructions right there, you got a chance to win a Logo Fractor box. That's about a $150 value. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Here on Halloween, October the 31st, the Thursday, your Thursday, my Friday, Whatever day it is, good day to break. TJ with double last spot mojo with the A's and the J's. All right. Good luck. There are your Logo Fractor packs. A Vince Scully fan page posted, breaking news, Yankee center fielder and judge will be the Times Square this year so he can drop the ball, wow. Come on, Vince Scully fan page. Vince Scully would never do something like that. That's a win with grace, you know? uncalled for. There's a Wyatt Langford base. It's going to go to Christopher in Texas. I mean, I'm so happy about the Dodge winning the World Series. I mean, I kind of don't care what, what the other guys did. It doesn't matter. There's Shota Imanaga for the Cubs. That's for Eric. And Dave with the Giants, Jung Hoo Lee. And the rare autograph, it's Colt Keith. Nice, for the Upstart Tigers. Rookie auto, that's gonna be for Nathan and Detroit. Here's a Shane McClanahan, 250, 007 out of 250 for the Rays. That's going to be for Nathan. World champ Will Smith. And we got a gold Ronald Acuna Jr., 7 out of 50. Braves making a little move. I think they uh, traded Jorge Soler to the Angels. Griffin Canning, so they're going to shore up a little bit of pitching for them, and this guy should be healthy, so move surplus outfielder. All right, another box. Notable pending free agents, Juan Soto, Pete Alonso, Willie Ademis, Christian Walker, Teoscar Hernandez, Alex Bregman, Anthony Santander, Glaber Torres, Tyler Neal, Yerkson Profar, pitchers, Corbin Burns, Max Fried, Blake Snell, Sean Manaya, Jack Flaherty, Max Scherzer, Severino, Bueller, Kershaw. Kershaw? No, Kershaw is an option, that's right. Snell, Manaya, Kershaw have player options. Which I think will be picked up. And Justin Verlander. I guess the, the hot stove is officially started. Well, now, that the, now that the Dodgers have done it, won the World Series, uh, I feel like... Um, like now I can, we can, Rex asked this question a couple days ago, we started thinking about what do the Dodgers, what are the Dodgers going to do? Not sure. Dodgers really don't need to do much, but I also think you, you still have to, you know, refresh, you know, just always continue to add pieces. I think there'll be a lot of rumors linking the Dodgers to someone like Juan Soto, but 
but I think that's just more more uh, Juan Soto's agent trying to trying to drive up the price. I mean, obviously, if Juan Soto says I want to play in L.A., I mean that's a it's a it's a different story. You have to try to work something out, but. Pete Alonso is going to be a free agent. And another auto. It's Ozelvis Basabe. That's going to be for Nathan and the Rays. I can see the Dodgers. Uh, they're, I think they're definitely going to try to re-sign Teoscar Hernandez. This Colt Keith to 199. Another Tiger for Nathan. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Dodgers actually try to chase some starting pitching. Nice Jackson Merrill logo fractor. That's going to be for the Padres. That's Jesse. Otani's going to be in the rotation next year, but obviously a little bit of a question mark because he hasn't pitched in a little while. And I think they'll probably roll with like a six-man rotation. So I'm sure they'll kick the tires on some freeze. I mean, I know they've wanted Corbin Burns for a long time. And Corbin Burns, relative to some of the other pitchers on the Dodgers rotation, has demonstrated that he can, he's kind of a, a horse. You know, he can, he can give you a lot of starts and a lot of innings in a season. Dodgers could use a, a pitcher like that. But yeah, yeah, there are a lot of big starting pitching names on the free agent market. And obviously Kershaw's in, you know, the last you know, years of his last year or two of his career. Last night's coming off an arm injury. You know Dustin May coming off an arm injury. Tony Gonsolin. I think Yamamoto should be okay. Yamamoto should be going to the offseason clean, but he had an injury last year, so so there's going to be some question marks. I'm sure they want some more non-question marks there. And then I think the Dodgers have to kind of look to maybe shore up the bullpen a little bit, kind of re revamp the, the bullpen a little bit. They have a lot of young players kind of getting ready to graduate from the minors, so they might have to figure out either are they going to be a Dodger or can they trade them away for maybe something else that they need. Here's Naren Judge. This is for the MVP buyback. This is going to be uh, Nathan in the Yankees. Deswam saying, really? Corbin Burns retweeted one of the Dodgers World Series winning tweets. Interesting. This is Jackson Churio for the Brewers for Jared. So, yeah, I could, Dodgers have, have been looking at... Actually, Willie Demis is a free agent, too. Dodgers have been looking at those two guys for a little while, so I wonder if they might chase after those two guys. Nice Otani. And a f out of five, Jordan Lawler. Train whistle. Jared with Arizona. There you go, Jared Gomez. All aboard the Big Hit Express. But obviously, I don't... Dodgers spent so much money last season, last offseason. I don't think they're going to really do too much. Trade, I could see them maybe getting some trades going. Here's a Shota logo fractor, Jacob DeGrom to 150 logo fractor. I could see them being a little active, maybe moving some, some of their prospects, shoring up some other parts. But they have been chasing after Ademis and Corbin Burns for a while. I could see them wanting to put Ademis at short, maybe move Tommy Edmond to center field, re-sign Teoscar to be in left field, and then go get Corbin Burns. DeGrom will go to uh, Christopher and then uh, Eric with the Cubs. But... Outside of that, or if they don't get Corbin, Corbin Burns, maybe they bring, you know, Max Fried back to L.A. If they get price out of those two markets, then maybe, maybe they'll sign Jack Flaherty on a short deal, two, three years or something like that. 
But there is a little bit of, a, as crazy as it might sound, there is a little bit of a window that's uh, slowly starting to close, you know? So you kind of have to start thinking about, you know, the future a little bit, as, as crazy as it is to say. But Freddie Freeman is 34 years old. So he's probably got a, you know, two, three more elite seasons left in him. His contract actually, actually runs out in 2027. So 34, 35, 36. So, so at, by the end of his contract, he'll be 37. So who knows where he'll be at age 37. You know, so that, they might have to start looking at sort of a first base window, either through the minors or in the future on something like that. Um, Max Muncy's 33, you know. Otani's only 29. Betts is a few years younger than Freddie, but, but his contract runs a little bit longer. So yeah, and they already had one of their relievers retired, Daniel Hudson, who's 37. You know, Austin Barnes is also 34. You know, Ryan Brazier's 36. So they got some older relievers. Trinan's 36. So they might want to try to see which guys can kind of emerge as kind of a new part of the relief core. There's really a Demis right there. So the So we'll see. We'll see what the Dodgers do. I don't think they're going to rest on their laurels. I think uh, when Otani signed, he specifically said, I'm doing this contract in this way. Otani wanted to do it because he didn't want to hamstring a team into spending. So Dodgers are saving a ton of money every year because of that. Which they've, I think they've pretty much made back already. Ooh, nice Sedan Rafaela. Future Stars autograph. 70 out of 99. So I'm sure the Dodgers will be somewhat active this year. Not, maybe not as active as last year, but I think they'll certainly be active. Um, Red Sox. Dave Casey. Red Sox actually have, with guys like this, kind of have a young core of players coming up the rank. So let's see what their statement of intent is going to be in the offseason. Marco Luciano to 250. Um, some may remember, I know this might have gotten buried in the news, but I think a month ago, I think the, the Giants let go of Farhan Zaidi. He used to work with the Dodgers and Andrew Freeman for a while. So now they got Buster Posey, I think, in the operational kind of president of baseball operations kind of thing, and they think they hired another GM today, a proper GM. So let's see what the Giants do in the offseason. Nice. Here's a nice future stars, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, 13 out of 50. Unlike most Japanese players that, that get to the United States, Yamamoto and Otani represent the guys that uh, came out early. Earlier. So there it is, Yamamoto. He's only 25. The so guy's first taste of the big leagues. I think Japanese pitchers generally do better in their second or third year, and then they, as they get comfortable with the league and the pitchers and ballparks and all that. Here's a nice logo for actor Jackson. Churio Brewers also have a nice young team. Jared with the Brew Crew. Let's see what kind of pieces they add. They should get Corbin Burns back. Well, look, Corbin Burns does have a California connection, though. He, he was born in Bakersfield, went to high school in Bakersfield, and went to college in California, St. Mary's. Which St. Mary's? The St. Mary's in Moraga, uh, Northern California. We 
got a Northern California connection. Central to Northern California connection. Maybe the Giants will be in on Corbin Burns. All right, fifth and final box. Remember, the next logo fracture break is almost in single digits. I think there's three big teams still left. At least there were when I started this break. Orioles, Padres, and Brewers, I think. Right? And then, um, I think the rest of the teams were like between 20 and 30 bucks. So we should be able to fill that one straight up without, without a filler, if you want to try to get that going. Final five boxes of the case. And obviously it's Topps Chrome, so you'll have the MVP buyback possibilities as well. Although I think the Yankees and Dodgers are already sold out. Speaking of which, there's Otani. What a season for Otani. Started off in such a weird way with, with his interpreter slash manager embezzling money from him. Then I think he kind of had a slow start to this. Well, he, he didn't hit his first home run for like a week or two. People were starting to freak out. <laughs> but he ended up 50-50. Pretty amazing season. That's going to go to Christopher and the Dodgers. And wins a World Series. First time in the playoffs, World Series. There's Sal Freelich to 250. That's going to be for the Brew Crew. Jared Gomez with that one. Gabriel Moreno to 150, Dylan Cease and C.J. Abrams. It'd be funny if the Nationals got us. Uh, C.J. Abrams. It'd be funny if the Nationals got Juan Soto. That's kind of a young and exciting team. I I, I don't know if Soto's going to go for that. I think he wants to add more, get a chance to add more like rings to his resume in addition to the money. So we'll see. All right, that's the break, folks. Thank you. Again, another logo fracture break in the store. Five boxes, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's finish that off. Big thanks to this group for getting in. Let's uh, sort by column A. So if you bought two teams like Alan did, you'll get an entry for the logo fracture box. Chris got two. That's an entry. Dave got four. That's two entries. Eric only got one. Jared got two. That's an entry. Jesse got two. That's an entry. Joe got four. That's two entries. John got two, that's an entry. Leonard got two, that's an entry. Nathan got four, that's two entries. Uh, Patrick got three. Two count, that's still an entry, Pat. And TJ got two, that's an entry. All right, so I got Alan, I got Chris, I got Dave's two. I got Jared, Jesse, Joe, John, Leonard, Nathan, uh, Patrick, and TJ. All right. Name on top gets a logo fracker box. We'll send it to you sealed uh, after three. Top name after three. Good luck. Two and a one. One, two, and fingers crossed, three. It's Jared. Jared Gomez, congrats to you. We got a logo fracture box. I don't have any logo fracture boxes, but I think we ordered some more. We'll be getting some more later this week. So, congrats. One 2024 Topps Chrome logo fracture box going your way from Pick Your Team 7. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats, Jared. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break.